Hello friends, today we'll see ellipse by focus directrix method. Requirement of the ellipse by this method is focus to directrix distance which is 50 mm and eccentricity is less than 1 which is given as 2 by 3. With this data how to draw the ellipse. For that first you draw the directrix line. So that directrix line we can draw a straight vertical line. Straight vertical line and then we have to draw the axis. Axis is going to be a light horizontal line. It is going to be a light horizontal line. So it is going to be axis. And now we have to draw the ellipse by using focus directrix method. For that, the intersection of these two lines is D. And now we have to mark the focus at a distance of 50 mm. Then for that so how we can mark that distance it's 10 20 30 40 and 50 so this is the 50 mm distance and immediately from this 50 mm distance so wherever we have marked so we can mark the vertical line and intersection of these two lines intersection of these two lines is going to be a focus it is going to be focus. Then we have to mark the vertex which is going to be on ellipse. So for that, again this FD distance, we have to divide it into five equal parts, numerator plus denominator, two plus three, five parts. Then those five parts we can easily make, it's 10, 20, 30, and 40. So these are the five equal parts. But once we mark these five equal parts, vertex will be at the distance of 20 mm after two parts it is vertex it is vertex and through that vertex so we have to mark the vertical line mark the vertical line through this vertex then in the compass take this vf distance in the compass and cut the arc on this line wherever it intersects that point also you can give some name a d to a we can join and we can extend it d to a definitely this angle is going to be less than 45 so this d to a we have to join and we have to extend like this so more line is required on this side so this line is inclined at an angle of less than 45 then another line with 45 degree we have to mark through the focus so this line will be at an angle of 45 degree and that earlier line so this is less than 45 and this is 45 wherever these two line intersects so that is very important point for us intersecting of this point is going to be give us another vertex and how we can mark that another vertex so wherever these two lines intersects from that mark the vertical line means it is going to be vertex 1 or v dash now this v to v dash is going to be the major axis of the ellipse and from this we can get additional points and for getting additional points simply we need some more vertical lines and how we can mark the vertical lines randomly you can mark towards right of v so initial line you can take just like vf and then mark the vertical line now in between these two one more line and here also similarly one line whatever this gap is there centrally one line and towards left also one line and towards right also one line randomly you can have these lines and whatever these vertical lines those lines into two will give us the points along with those additional points we are having v and v dash on the ellipse so give the name it's one two three four five six seven lines are there 
So we'll get 7 into 2, 14 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And wherever this line intersects, it is going to be 7, 7 point. So with the help of this 7, we'll get 14 points. V and V dash such to six with 16 points we can get the excellent ellipse and that that is quite interesting. So now you take the distance in the compass equal to 1 to 1 and shift the compass at focus. Shift the compass at the focus and cut the arc on the same line. On upper side we'll get one point and on lower side will get another point. The same process is there for getting the points on line 2. So it is passing through the focus. One point will be at this place itself because the distance and that point its focus is same. Hence, we will get the same point and on lower side this is the point. Now shift the compass at point 3. Take the distance equal to 3 to 3. Shift the compass at the focus and cut the arc on the same line. So on upper side and on lower side this is going to be arc. Now the next is shift the compass at 4. In the compass, we have to take 4 to 4 distance. Compass, we have to keep at the focus itself. And with 4 to 4 distance, we have to cut the arc on the same line. 4 to 4, one on upper side and one on lower side. Then shift the compass at 5. Take the distance equal to 5 to 5. Keeping the compass at the focus and cutting the arc on the same line on upper side, on lower side also. Then shift compass at 6. In the compass, 6 to 6 distance. Keeping the compass at the focus. and cutting the arc on the same line on upper side on lower side then last point seven seven to seven distance wherever it intersects that line then shift the compass at focus and cut the arc on the line passing through 7 on upper side as well as on lower side also. So like this we get the additional points and we have to mark all these points like this. V is on ellipse. This is 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and V. If we draw the smooth curve passing through all these points, it is going to be ellipse. Then how to draw the curve observe it very carefully it requires the concentration so through v we'll draw the smooth curve passing through all these points This is the ellipse by focus directrix method. Apart from this, 
the other requirements are what giving the dimensions and naming the points for the naming the points we should name like this it's p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 it's p7 p6 p5 p4 p3 p4 p2 and it's p1 p1 the, it is the naming and along with the naming dimensioning is also must focus to directrix distance so this we have to mark at the same time focus to v because it is the ellipse and mark the field arrows at the ends for both it is 20 and it is 50 so this is the complete ellipse by focus directrix method